the children of Gaza are going through worse. This is nothing. These are the words of one of the protesters arrested last week at the demonstration organized by Students for Justice in Palestine. It began when about 15 protesters entered the career fair. In an Instagram post, Temple SJP makes multiple allegations against the department, including claims that the police forcefully removed the hijab of one of the arrested protesters. Temple SJP says, quote, This is not merely an attack on free speech, but an attack on all Muslim students, Arab students, students of color, and students opposed to genocide. The Department of Public Safety posted a social media statement referring to their ongoing investigation, saying the accusations made by SJP are concerning but lack evidence. But now, the Council on American-Islamic Relations refutes public safety's claims, with CARE Philadelphia hosting a press conference and calling for an active investigation into reports of the mishandling of the situation by the police. Temple University intends to make an example of these young Muslim women because apparently undergoing gross violations of their religious rights was not enough of a punishment to satisfy Temple University. He is referring to Johara Shama, a Temple alumna who was detained last week. She says the police forcefully removed her hijab and she was not able to wear it again until 20 hours later when she was released from the Philadelphia Police Department. This experience has left me feeling profoundly exposed and humiliated. I feel as if my identity and beliefs had been violated. Temple's Department of Public Safety stands by their previous statements and deny that there is any evidence that shows a protester's hijab was pulled off by the police. Care Philadelphia says they, quote, will continue to work closely with legal experts, civil rights organizations, and community members to monitor the situation and ensure accountability.